Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Cassell, and I want to show you how you can record a video using your Chromebook, upload it to your Google Drive, and then embed that in Google Slides or submit that on Canvas. So first thing, when you're on your Chromebook, down here your little circle button will open up your menu. You do have a camera app that's on your phone, or on your phone, on your Chromebook. You can click this little up arrow here and you'll see that there's a camera icon down here. When you open your camera, whoa, look at this, Inception is crazy. So you have the option, it opens up as the default setting it to photo, but here's an option for video. When you click the little record button, um, it records a video, so I'll click right now, it's recording, so hi everybody, yay. Um, that's how that works. And once you stop, there's sort of nothing that seems to happen. Like it doesn't pop up that you've got a video that you took successfully. It's just sort of not there. So what you need to do is find your files. I have my files icon open down here, but same process. I can come over here to my little tools menu. I can click this little up carrot to go find all my tools. And here you'll see something that says files. When you take a video, it saves it to your Chromebook memory directly because video files can be big. It takes a long time to upload them to the cloud. So the first thing that they do is they dump it right on your hard disk. That means that it's hard to get that file from where it is into a Google slideshow on a Chromebook because Google likes to use Google. It doesn't want to look on the hard disk. So if I go down here, you can even see like for the camera, if I open up my camera, it'll show you here's a video file that I took today at 1240 p.m., which was one minute ago. So this is my video I just took. First advice I'd give you, rename your stuff. It's just a good habit to get into. So this was my practice video. Um, if it's for an assignment, put your name in there. Um, if you know exactly what assignment it's for, put the name of the assignment. But put some information in there. It really helps your teachers later, and it helps you. So next thing is, I want this to be uploaded to my Google Drive. I want it to be available for Google Apps to use. Over here on the left side in your file navigation, you can see where it says Google Drive. I clicked that little carrot, and it opened up my options. Now. Hopefully you've got a folder for each of your classes. I've got lots of folders because I'm a teacher. So when I click on my drive here, it's gonna load all my folders. and It'll show me what my options are right there. But it also, if you look, it actually opened them over here on the left too. I can see all of my folders by clicking these little carrot um, drop down menus, turning that little triangle sideways. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to take, I'm going to say that I'm going to put my video in my AP physics folder. So back up there on my camera where I have my practice video right here, I can click on this and I can drag this and say, would you please put this in my AP physics folder? You'll notice it shows me the name right there. If I wait, it even opens up that folder. So let's say I wanted to put it in a more specific place, like in my momentum folder, I can do that. So uh, once you're ready, you can literally just drop it on this page and you'll see there it is as the top file. It's now in my Google Drive. So yay, it's in my Google Drive. I can access it from anywhere. It won't get deleted from my Chromebook. I can do that on a desktop computer. I can do it on my phone. So now let's say my teacher needs me to turn in a video in a Google Slideshow. When you have a Google Slide like this, there's a menu that says Insert. And you can come up here and click insert. Oopsies, oops, if I click it actually. And down here, you'll have the option for video. When you're using a desktop computer, you have a few more choices like uploading from your hard disk. On your Chromebook, you don't, but you do have your Google Drive right here. So I can click on my Google Drive and the easiest way often, it'll um, start by loading what's right there, but this recent, if you've just put it in there, that's a great way to go and get your videos, all right? So um, you'll see it's slowly loading, and then here you go, my practice video, I named it so I know it's the right one. When I click on that, I can go ahead and make these little tools go away, and I can click select, and now it's gonna upload or take that video and embed it right here in my Google slide. You'll see it says it's formatting. It takes a little while for those videos to process. The shorter they are, the less time it takes. So don't despair. It'll load this video for you. And then there it is. You can preview it over here. And now that's in your Google slideshow for you to turn into your teacher. Last thing I'll say is you can do this with your phone too. The Google Drive app, 
is free and you can sign in to your school Google account on the app. That's what I do for lots of videos when I take stuff in my classroom. If I'm making a video of a lab or something that we're going to use in class, often it's easier to record it with my phone. And then I just move it to my Google Drive on my phone. Then when I sit down to my computer, there it is. And I can put it into my Google Slides, into a Canvas assignment, or upload it to YouTube. All right. So I hope that helps everybody. Good luck. Have a great day. Thanks for learning with me.